Hey everybody, Akiris here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper 500 Day Challenge Series Part 35. So here we are, here we are at the camp office in Mystery Lake. We just got in here. There's a nice blizzard going outside. I'll show you guys. There we go. Remember that from like two weeks ago? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But uh, I got sick for like four days and then, uh, then my kids had uh, basketball playoffs. So the games were all just random times, and you didn't know what games you were gonna play and when you were gonna play until the very last minute, like because you know whether you won or lost, decided so whether whether you continued on in this bracket or that bracket. So whatever, but um, yeah, so that's over with, and I'm ready to dive back into this a little bit here. So here we are, got 65 calories counting down. We got, I think we got, yeah, we got water downstairs. Let me go grab a water downstairs. I know you guys can't see anything right now. Just kind of, kind of move quickly through here, and so I don't have to use the. I know there's water here somewhere. There it is. That'll be perfect. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think um, what we're gonna do is I got a, a lot of things I want to accomplish. I want to go up to the to the lookout, grab that sewing primer book that I'd left up there, and then I want to go do some farming for coal in the cave next to Trapper Homestead. I'd also like to see how our guts are doing with the curing see if we have enough guts to make uh, the pants or the boots or whatever we want to do and then uh, also keep an eye out for the bear and we also need to try to harvest that wolf meat from the wolf kill that we got in the last episode so a lots to do um, we're there's a there the blizzards outside we're well rested so we're, we're just gonna have to pass time because there's nothing else I can really do at this moment so let's just pass time until damn it so uh, hungry. Blizzard's still going. I can hear it. Hopefully it stops soon. No, don't sleep. I didn't mean for him to sleep. I hit the wrong one. Well, maybe that did the trick. I don't know. Good luck, sleep. All right, let's go see if we can see nice, nicely outside or if it's just like really dark and... Unnavigable. In, navigable. Unnavigable? Unable to navigate. <laughs> that doesn't look too bad. Looks like the blizzard might come back, though. Hmm. Alright, let's go for it. I think we can make it. I spent about 10% of my warmth right there just deciding. Literally for half a second. Let's go ahead and pull out our red flare, just in case we need it. Get a wolf off our butts. Right. Feels like negative thirty-two. Yeah, it's it's pretty cold. <laughs> it's pretty cold. Yeah, I want that cold so that if we get a day where it's not windy for like a little bit, it looks like it's gonna be clear skies for maybe a couple hours. I can go over to that wolf and warm up the carcass and keep myself warm with the coal because as cold as it's getting now, wood just isn't going to cut it out here. And um, I don't really want to go out there and harvest the meat for an hour and a half or whatever it was and take a third, take a 30%, basically a 30% condition hit. Uh, so I think we'll try to do that if, if at all possible. All right, let's go up this way and what's he running from die if I don't warm up that's a little concerning I don't know what he's running from but I'm running from it too ah, I could have fit through there easy I'm giving me body image issues now All right, let's get up here. We're hungry and we're cold. Makes us cranky. It's a pretty night though. Lots of stars. Did I just hear ptarmigans clicking away? Like their little cluck things? I hear my, it was in my right ear. I'll grab a couple of these just in case we come across them. Yeah, I'm hearing them from like there. Oh, yeah, right there. There it was, totally. So there's some ptarmigans up here. All right, well, I'm sure I'm, I got seven of them. I didn't need extra, any extra. I mean, I'm... Where are you at, guys? 
And there's more. There's three more. Um, where are you guys at? I know I'm going to be shaky, right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right, let's get Loa. Oh, they're close. The question is, I bet you they're at the top of these stairs. And when I get crest the stairs, the top of... Oh, there he is. I don't know if I can throw in between those or not. All right, I'm going to try for the one on the stairs. Oh, that would have been the best shot ever if I took him straight out of the sky with a rock throw, but not today. All right, let's go get the book. That's what we're here for anyway. Enough of this dying to try to get a ptarmigan. All right. Oh, it's going to be cold in here. Someone left the door open. What is it anyway? Oh, 13 degrees. That's really good, actually. There's the book that we need. Come in handy. Wonderful. Yes. Proves the mending skill, but 10 points. All right, so we need to warm up. And we, luckily, we don't have to start a fire. So let's go ahead and just bash this up here. This half an hour. Probably won't warm us up enough, but yeah, it wasn't enough. What about this chair? Can I do this by hand? Yes, I can. 45 minutes. Let's try this. And the sun's starting to come up. So, new day. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you can see it over there. It's wonderful. All right, good enough. Ooh, do I hear wind? We need to get moving. Oh, yeah. There's, oh, negative 49 degrees. We need to get going. Because there's a. it feels like there's going to be a blizzard coming in. We need to get moving. Before that happens. I don't want to get stranded up here any longer than I have to. All right, let's move. Are the ptarmigans back? That's the question. I don't even know if I'll mess with them. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with them. Uh, this way. Yep. Oh, yeah, we're... We're moving quick now, boys. There we go. Alright, let's head down this way. Alright, let's go ahead and get our... Oh, oh. Red flare. Red flare. That's the blue flare. I don't want the blue flare. I want the red flare. That's the red flare. Oh, there's a... Is that a wolf? No. Can't feel my hands. No, that's a deer. No, wait, hold on. Are those two wolves? No, those are deer. I think. Yeah. Gosh, those, those are kind of hard to tell the difference. Oh my gosh, that rabbit scared the crap out of me. Oh. I thought it was a tiny, tiny little wolf. With an attitude. Alright, let's get inside. Freezing. I know, man. I'm trying to get you inside. We got you a book. We got you a sewing book. Should be grateful. How exciting. Alright, alright, alright. Might go and uh, grab some food, head up to the cave, and hang out there for a while while we read. Um, oh, ptarmigans. They were just going to keep on clucking until I... Until I Acknowledge them. They like to hang out over here. I scared them off and they all flew over here, huh? There's probably a circuit they run. Good. Not there allowed. You guys see him? Oh, right there. Man, that was just one. Yeah. I thought I heard him land, but I think that was just the flag. I had rocks to burn, so I just went ahead and chucked them. All right, let's warm up. That's the main thing. And uh, the sun will come up and give us some light so that we won't be fumbling around here in the dark. All right, let's go ahead and just pass pastime. I need some. I need something to drink. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna drop some reclaimed wood here. Oh yeah. Just drop all that. What else? We got six sticks. That's fine. Not a big deal. Got a little venison. Just enough to draw a wolf to us. That's always good. Piece of coal. Do I have a coal pile? 
I don't think I have a full coal pile quite yet. Just gonna drop that here. Okay. Wait. No. Put it there. All right. That looks good. Um. Let's see. So I guess I'll grab. I'll just tear up some curtains while we're at it. I'm gonna check my bandage situation now that I'm thinking about it. I think we have enough. I think I made like a, a three or four of them. Yeah, we got four bandages. We're good. Okay. Now we have a few cloth. Yeah, we got seven cloth and okay. So that's all good. I'm gonna take this sewing primer up to the cave. No afflictions, but and uh, maybe do some reading up there. Or, you know what? While the weather's decent, let's go ahead and yeah, let's let's go ahead and go for the coal. Yeah, let's do that. Um, think, think, think. Can I leave some stuff here? I think I can leave. I think I have some acorns or something. Yeah. Just drop those. Those over here. There we go. Alright. I'll pick up those berries. I always say that I'm going to pick up those berries sometime off camera, but I never do. Such a liar. Let's go by weight. Let's see. I have to have all those. Yes. Crowbar, probably not. Uh, I don't need that. Yeah, I don't need to be carrying that. All this stuff. The old mill flower, probably not. Probably not. Um, already completed. Don't need that. That's the one that I'm about to read. Everything else looks pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Happy with that. Let's move the flower up here. Oats, you can go right about there. Tools, of course. Right there. This one is red. I think this is where we put our red books, so we're gonna put that over there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, make a move. Let's make sure we have plenty of water. Okay, we need a water. There we go. All right, let's go. Let's move. Let's move, yo. Okay. Uh, I think I have. Yeah, I should have bear meat there because I killed a bear there a long time ago. I don't know if I need to cook it or not though. There we go. Alright, I'm just going to kind of run this way, I think. The safe way. Because it'll take me to the cave. Just kind of keep my distance from anything. Not a bad, not a bad day, honestly. It's 26, negative 26 degrees Celsius, but, you know, clear skies and all that. I could probably go and harvest the wolf. Hmm. It's kind of the type of day I was hoping for for that. Of course, it's a pretty minor amount of meat like four kilograms but still it's like eight pounds of meat so it's not really minor plus I can eat it without any problems now yeah I'm already this far I'm going for the coal we'll get another day like this don't worry or I'll do it at night I don't care once I get the coal it shouldn't be that bad the wind's going to be the problem there if I decide to start a fire to keep warm Wind, wind snuffs out, but at least, you know, if the wind does snuff it out, at least I'll get like, you know, 45 minutes or a half hour of, of heat or something like that, so it won't be as bad, the damage. Um, oh well. well, we'll figure it out. Crow's flying that way for some reason. Keep her eyes open. Never felt so cold in my life. I know, man. I know, it sucks. Being my character just sucks. I keep you cold all the time. Hungry and cold. Not thirsty. Normally I'm pretty good about that. Let's get off of this little ankle breaker. There's a... Nope, that's a deer. Okay. There's a wolf. Nope, that's a deer. Those stupid does, man. They, they get their heads down. They kind of look like wolves. They're about the same size at a distance. Slightly different color, but uh, let's push on. Let's go. It's time to move. I think there's a hit wolf over that hill there. Oh wait, is that birch bark? I'm gonna grab that. I think I have one, so that means we can make a tea, which will be nice. Are you spooking because of me or because of something else? I hope it's because of me. 
Oh, that's where I... That's where I destroyed a young life. Nope, there's another birch bark. I'm gonna grab it. Gotta get it. Gotta collect them all. Whew. Could definitely use a couple days of... Oh, hey, look, coal. That's a good sign. Like that. Happy to see that. Yeah, we could use a couple days of just rest and recovery. And I think I have enough to... Well, I now know I have enough birch bark to make a tea, which will be hugely beneficial for us. So I think when we get to the uh, Trevor Homestead, I'm going to cook up some tea. And we're going to be nice and tired by that time, too. So, honestly, I don't care if I go through the cave at night or in the day, but... All right, let's take a peek over here, see what we got going on. You know, what kind of baddies we got down there? Any baddies? No baddies? Okay. That's fair. Fair enough. Alright, let's get inside. Oh, there's a bear. Ooh, I don't I really don't want to fight the bear right now. I need to warm up anyway. Um, but at least he's in the area. That's good. He's back. So that's good. We can do we can hunt him again. I'm excited for that. And there's a rabbit right there. But we're on the bigger game right now. We're gonna go for that bear eventually. Probably kite him back to the cabin. Try to get a critical hit on him, hopefully. Left eye shot. Something like that. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, a lot of meat here. Ruined. I mean, this is all ruined. I still gotta cook it. Oh, that's cooked. Oh, I can I can eat this. Cool. Nice. And we're gonna have more bear here in a little while, I have a feeling. Ooh, I'm excited to do a little bear hunt. Forget that wolf. Forget the little bit of meat. Oh, look. Cured guts, guys. Well, now we have enough cured guts, we don't have to wait for 70% more curing. And lots of water and firewood and this that, that see this is why I set this place up like this nice and, nice place to come into when you're not feeling the best okay so I'm gonna go ahead and eat and yeah, not quite sleep yet I'm gonna go ahead and eat though that's cooked that's cooked I should be able to eat this I know I can eat this safely but that's venison this is meat yeah bear meat. I'm pretty sure I can eat this without any risk and it is cooked. I'm verifying that. Okay. Sure don't eat raw. There we go. Yeah. Even though I cooked it when I was like level 3. Somehow it retroactively gets my level 5 magic. Alright. So let's see. We got cooking pot. Cooking can. I'm going to go ahead and make us some tea. And uh, let's go ahead and get a fire going. We, we could probably get one going out here and then transfer it inside. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's see if I can do this. Can't feel um, my feet. Start a fire. Magnifying lens, 85% chance. Like that idea. I'll throw on a couple sticks and then pull a torch out of there and we'll go straight inside and start a fire. Come on, baby. Save me a match. Save me a match. So, Hopefully it doesn't get... It's, it's blowing. I hope it's not blowing the two directions that this fire is exposed to before I can get a, another... Another one on here. We get a stick on here. There we go. Take the torch. Get inside. Hey, that's a good torch. Look at that. That was like more than halfway. All right, that's pretty good. All right, let's grab a firewood, a couple firewoods. Uh, let's start this fire here. Y'all, let's get this fire started. And that's how you do it without. That's how you do it without a uh, using a match. Get an indoor fire. Up. Oh. <laughs> okay. You're gonna be difficult. I see how it is. Let's see Come how it is. On. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'll do the commentary, Will. You just sit back and relax. Enjoy the ride. That did it. <laughs> Burned up a lot of the torch, though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and cook up. Um, you know, let's, let's, I probably should have prepared the, uh, birch bark stuff before. I don't think it takes that long, though. Five minutes, something like that. Yeah, that's not bad. We'll just prepare real quick. 
it's not gonna make a big deal. But I do want that tea. That's number one priority here. So let's go ahead and uh, cook up some tea. Mmm. Baredberg. Yeah, let's do that. Cook that. And cook. Let's do a tin of coffee. Yeah, let's get another coffee on the on the brew there. Yeah, Alright, that'll be fine. Lovely. Okay, can we do another one of anything? I can do rose hips. It'll give us a rose hip tea, which is a painkiller. Um, you know what? I think what I'm gonna do is probably do a little bit of water here. 42 minutes for that. Yeah, that'll give us some extra water here. And I want to go ahead and take this off of here and put it up here. Probably go grab one of these raw pieces of meat, and I think it's going to be about 42 minutes or so. Maybe 45, 50, something like that. But uh, I want the big piece of bear meat. 900 calories. Yeah, let's take that. We'll throw that on the Barbie. See how long that takes. I think we're going to be pretty close. 37. Yeah, it's moving quick. Time to move faster here. Okay, that's 57, so... I'm gonna have to add, I'm gonna have to add a little bit of... Um, some sticks. There we go, it should be good. My fires last longer than what they say, so... With the skill that I have. Alright, and then I need to... Wait, then I need to do... That's just till melted. Then it needs to be potable, so I'm gonna have to add a few more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, go grab a few sticks while we're out here. Let's go farm some sticks. Let's see if the bear's out here. Nope. Okay, sticks, where you at? There's probably sticks over here. There's probably sticks over here somewhere. There normally is. Oh, birch bark. Oh, yeah. Am I going to do another birch bark tea? Oh, I'll take that. Take that all day. Wait. Did I just trip out or did those sticks just duplicate themselves? Okay, that was weird looking. That was weird looking, guys. Word. Alright, we got time to look around a little bit here. A big old fur limb. We can bust up if we need it. Oh, yeah. All right, lovely. I think I need to lay down. Okay, let's go take these sticks back. That's all I really needed. Oh, there's the bear. Oh, he's right down that way. Oh my gosh. Um, who? I don't like my I don't like my health condition. I don't like that at all. But I do like the fact that he's so close to home. I kind of want to kite him back and try to shoot him from the rocks. What do you guys think? I think we're gonna do it. Who dares wins, right? wonder if I launch one from here, if he'll uh, take off or if he'll follow me. Oh, he's coming. Wow, he turned around quick. Do I have something on me that's stinky? Some stinky God food on me? Freezing. What am I eating? Oh, yeah, I do have stinky food on me. That's what it is. He smells some stinky foods. Okay, so I think I'm good to probably go up here. Work my way out onto these rocks somehow. Hmm, I think I like coming up here. Yeah, that's probably my favorite spot. Uh, how did I get up here? Yeah, this way. Alright. In his paw. Don't run away! You're gonna take forever to die. Oh no. Well, that's not good. He just ran off with my arrow. Unless it fell right there. Might have fallen right there. I'm gonna go check real quick before I lose track of it. Hopefully. Oh, yep, there's the arrow. Okay, so I didn't lose the pieces of the arrow. At least. Alright, let's get inside. I can hear my heartbeat. <laughs> That's not good. Well, if he falls nearby, we'll, we'll get him. Um, let me take a look and see where we're at with bear kills. Oh, man. It dropped a lot. I was up. See, I was I was at an elevated position, so I thought to myself, "Yeah, hey, yeah, you're gonna be all right." Just how's this? 14 minutes till ready. 
34 until boiled. Okay. Now we're going to be good. We're going to be good. Let me pass time real quick. All right, let's take that off. Okay. So now I'm ready to eat and then uh, have my tea and get some rest. And we should be... I mean, it should really help us recover quickly. Oh, yeah, I can't eat from the radio menu. The, the stuff that it thinks is going to kill me, but it won't. Okay. I'm just going to do this just to spoil myself a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to have ourselves some uh, birch spark tea. That'll be great. When we wake up, that should be potable water. Shouldn't have enough time to burn off. Um, so we should be good. All right, let's go ahead and drink that. Increased healing rate. Nice. Okay. And then we're just going to drink regular water to top ourselves off. And now we're in good shape. Now we just need to sleep. That's really what we need more than anything. So let's get about 10 hours of sleep here. We maxed out our, uh, our food. That's good. I don't hear a heartbeat in our heads anymore. Where are we at? Oh, look at that. That's nice. That birch bark's good stuff, man. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. But it sounds like it's kind of wicked outside. Let me see here. I think we were at three bears, if I remember correctly. But we're going to check. Bear, bears killed three. Yeah, that's where we were at. So, if this turns to four, I'm going to start looking for that bear. But not too hard. Hopefully he comes back to this area, because I think this is his normal area, and he dies around here. Rather than, like, way off in clear cut or somewhere, just random. And we'll have to, like, figure out how to get the meat from there all the way up. Out. That's just... I take, the, I take the hide, basically. Take the hide to the nearest indoor location. All the guts to the nearest indoor location. And let them cure there. I don't know. We have to wait and see, but... All right, let's take a peek outside. It sounds wicked, but we'll take a look outside. It'd be great if he died right, right of our front door here, but... Eh, yeah. Again, he's... I'm pretty sure he's not dead. I mean, that was a really bad shot. I'm just... I'm glad I got my, uh... My arrowhead back. That's about it. And luckily, we have a bunch of uh, cured birch saplings at the at the other, at the camp office, so we can make more arrows, no problem. So that's not an issue. Alright, um, nighttime, great. So now I'm, um, well, you know what we could do is we could go on up to the, uh, cave. Uh, we're gonna need to use the lantern anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, let me go ahead and just rest to warm up. There we go. And let's get out of here. Let's, let's go on over there. It's not hard to get to. This is actually a pretty good spot if you're going to survive somewhere. I mean, you do a lot worse. So we're just going to run up here and then basically stay close to here until we find the cave entrance. Which I think is like right there it is. Yep. Made that look easy. That's a first. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our lantern. Hopefully it's had time to respawn some coal and I didn't leave a b big pile of them here like I sometimes do. Let's move a little quick through here so we don't waste the precious lantern fuel. Maybe, uh, maybe it hasn't respawned yet. Um, I don't see any back there. Oh, there's one. Right in the middle, too. I would have got that one, so that's a good sign. Hopefully there's more. Maybe that was it. Maybe I just missed that one and it hasn't respawned yet. Nope, there's another one here. I'm pretty sure it's all respawned. So it's just a matter of finding... Oh, there's one. Just a matter of finding them all.
So we're up to three now. Nice. Ah, four, five. Lovely, lovely. So far, uh, this little expedition's been a win. There's one. Should have waited till that bear got close closer. That was my mistake. Leave the cave. Oh no, don't don't leave the cave. It's okay. No big deal. We're just gonna turn around and go right back in. Alright, let's move fast through here. Oh well I guess I can't. Here, I'm gonna do this. Let's do this. Let's just pass time for like half a second. There we go. Now we can run. Oh, there's one I missed. First, those boots were uh, cold, but apparently not. Yeah, we've been that way. Okay, well, we made it out. Let's save that lantern fuel as much as we can. Still sounds like it's nasty out. We're just going to go right back to the camp, or to the uh, Trevor Homestead. So, not as bad. And we're in. All of our gauges are in the white. That's good. That's a good thing. All right, let's see how we did. I think we got eight, seven or eight. Eight. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to prepare some of this birch bark again. We'll be ready for the next dose. But I'm not going to use it right now because I'm going to save it till for a time when we're down to... Five or ten percent health again, which I'm sure will happen. Okay. So it's uh, okay. Eh, we could probably rest almost till morning. Get back on schedule a little bit. Yeah, maybe just pass time a little. What are we doing? We got a lot of calories. I got a lot of calories outside too. I'm not too worried about that. So let's just go ahead and pass about four hours of time here. There we go. Let's check on the, uh, I went ahead and interrupted there. Let's check on the bear. Still three. Yeah. <laughs> I just annoyed him, basically. Mildly annoyed him. And broke my arrow in the process. That was a waste. But, uh, oh well. We'll get him, we'll get him next time. A, a thousand calories. That's good. And I say we go ahead and rest for about six hours. I need more water. That'll do it. Alright, let's go ahead and rest for six hours. We can get back to the camp office and start making some pants or boots or whatever. So let's give it a go. Wonder how high our health points are gonna be. HP should be what about 80? Yeah, it's not bad. 65 days, two hours, 25 minutes. Alright. 
Things are looking good here. This is boiled water, so I'll take that. Yeah, I think we're overloaded. No, we're good on water. I'm going to take that back to the camp office because we got quite a bit here. And uh, got some meat here that I might as well eat it while I'm here. There we go. And uh, have a drink. I'm just cu I'm curious. I'm, I'm, I want to be checking this for the next several days. So you guys might as well just get used to it. I'm going to go ahead and fill up my belly though before we leave. No point in not doing that. Oh, yeah. I was going to say it might not be that cold if it's foggy. Um, that's cooked. Take that. Take that. Let's dip inside while I eat. Even when it's only negative 28 degrees Celsius, it still saps your warmth pretty darn quickly. Okay. So we eat this. That that should probably do it, actually. Okay, I'm going to drop the other two. Yeah, I'm going to drop those. Okay. Yeah, well, that's there if we need it in the future. Um, I wonder if the bear's going to be out walking around then. Maybe I can get some more shots on him if he comes back. I don't know. I don't know how... What his behavior is, but... Move quickly here, obviously, because of the cold more than anything. I'll probably dip into this cave so I can get an extra 50 feet of not freezing to death time. I don't see him. Oh, wait. Yep, he's there. He's there. I'm going to try to kite him back. I'm going to try to kite him back. Our health is looking good. Um, yeah, let's. we got a good opportunity here. I don't have any stinkies on me. So, actually, having stinkies on me would be pretty good, actually, because I could bring him from a farther distance. I wouldn't have to risk him uh, charging me. Oh, shoot, man. I don't want to get on that. I can't get on that... Uh, I don't think I can get on that. I don't really want to kill him there either. I want to kill him back at the camp office. Like I did the last one. Am I getting too greedy? Okay, okay. So we're just going to have to take our time. Kite him back. Luckily, we can do that. He's pissed. Alright. Just going to just take some patience. My head feel thick. I need to be more patient this time. I'm going to have a shaky shot, but that's okay, because he'll probably be running around the, the front door of the camp office if I can do this right, if I can get him real angry so he just wants to keep it coming at me. I can get up into the area where he can't get to me. Yeah, yeah, hypothermia risk. I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. That means I shouldn't be shaking then when I take the shot, because I'm warm. I'm warming up again. Gosh, that sounds scary. Waiting for the introduce the freaking cougars or whatever. Come on, bear. He's still alive. I probably took like two percent health off of him. <laughs> Horrible shot. Uh, not even has probably like 0.2 percent. All right, come on, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. Come on, just around this corner and up the hill a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll drag you out this way a little bit so I can keep my eyes on you. I don't want you to get distracted. Turn around, I come around the corner, you're still like right there. Then you get mad, charge me. I know how it is. I know how you guys. I know how you are. I'm being stalked by a bear. I just got my health all up to comfortable level and I'm now tempting fate with a bear a bear battle here this is brilliant 
he got, he gets me. He takes me down to 10% health, basically. Or I think it's I think it's. Like if it's 90% that you start with, I think you start off, then you lose you 9% or something like that. It's, it might be relative. 80% health, then he leaves you with 8%. All right, buddy. You see me? He's got the predator thing going on. You would think that the smell of the former of your rancid former you up here would be a warning for you not to trifle with me. All right, brother. All right, a couple more steps and then I'm going to get into shooting position. All right, come on, come on. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, I think I got to go this way and then something like this. Work my way up. There we go. And I think we're good. Wait for him. I gotta aim higher. I gotta aim like up here. Rather than down there. Up here. We'll wait for him to go into attack mode. Because then I think he will want to keep coming after me. I wonder if he can get to me up here. It's kind of worrisome. I'm gonna move over here. Don't run away. That was a good shot, though. Right in the back of his neck. And he took my arrow that time. All right, well, let's double check <laughs> to make sure. Not a different bear. Okay, three bears. Okay. Well, I think he's going to end up going over there again and hanging out for a bit. I think that's his happy home. So let's get inside and warm up a bit. I, I think maybe I should have waited until he went into aggro, and then he would have stuck around. Um, I just felt like I had a good shot there. It was a good shot. Much better than the last one. So I'm pretty sure he'll end up toppling over reasonably quick with that one. That, that felt like a decent shot. Let's head inside. We gotta warm up. Got to, got to. Okay, so now that we're in here, we should be able to read the book for an hour. There it is. Just one hour. Nice. Okay. Take a look here. Still at three. All right, so he's still wandering around. I might just hang here and do a little reading. Actually, let's go outside and see how it is. Is it really cold or is it... Are we ever going to get up to above zero again? No, I don't think we're... I think we're gone are the days of any temperatures feeling like they're above zero. I think they're just gone. I think that's it. All right, so let's do another reading sesh. Checking this again. Ah, four bears killed. So he's down. He's down somewhere. All right, let's go. Um, let's fill up our belly again, real quick. Then, uh, yeah, I'll take that. But I'm not gonna be able to eat it all. I don't think. No, I won't be able to. I'll eat probably about half of it. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> you don't really want to eat that, do you? Yes, yes, I do. All right, there we go. Yeah, there's still about almost. Yeah, there's almost half. Oh, pretty good. We can get another drink of water here. I think we'll be good. Nice. All right, let's go find this bear carcass. Hopefully, on the way back, um, he's around somewhere. And it is negative thirty-two, so it's getting nastier out. All right, buddy, where are you at? I'm going to go up along here and look down these lanes of these valleys to the left because I get pretty good viewpoints from there. I mean, hopefully he returns somewhere over there to die. 
it took a couple hours, so I hope that's the case. Hopefully he's up here somewhere. There he is. He's right there. We're almost right where the fire was last time. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, um, how do I want to play this? Let me think. Let me dip into this. Let me dip into this cave and we'll think about this for a second. I got good health. I could go out there and just quarter him up right now and eat the 20%, 30% health, uh, health loss. What else do I want to do? I could go back and start crafting. No, I want to, I want to harvest him up. I want to harvest him up and get things curing and get the guts in. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to do, go do that. So I'm going to stay here for half a second. Pass time until I warm up. There we go. We're going to make a run for it. We're going to quarter him up. We're going to take a pretty substantial um, health hit. But we have to do it. It's going to be 20%. We're going to be down to, uh, just below 50% when we're done, I think. Um, yeah. I can't put a fire out here because it's windy as all get out right now. I could wait. I could wait. Let me see what happens with this weather. Because there will be calm weather eventually. It's not going to be windy for the next three days. So let's just hang here. Be patient. Wait for... Even if it's at nighttime. We can go out there. Get a nice fire going. I got plenty of coal. We can get a nice hot fire going when there's no wind and yeah that's what we're gonna do I think that's the smartest play so let's do that man I'm gonna have so much bear meat I'm gonna have so much meat at this cabin it's gonna be where I come to <laughs> man I don't know I almost, I almost should make this my main cabin I think at this point Got coal nearby. I got bear that comes into the area all the time. I got rabbits everywhere. Got some deer. Not a bad little cabin, honestly. All right, so let's bide time here and uh, just rest. And I am going to go ahead and sleep here for a couple hours. Warm up. Get some more health. Build some more health up as well. Okay. Sounds like the sounds like the wind has stopped. So do we have do we have something to make? We got ten sticks. We got a fir, fir wood and, and that. Okay, so we got plenty to extend the fire out. All right, wonderful. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. I was about to run off with it, but okay. Let's take a look out here. I, I hear the roof creaking again, as if it's not quite. Yeah, that's not what you want to see. That means a blizzard's coming. Okay. It is what it is. Um. Well, let's go ahead and get a drink. And then rest for a couple hours at a time, I guess. Just do one hour at a time. Honestly, for a bear dropping right there, that's that's awesome. Okay, it's quiet. Come on, that looks that looks encouraging. Let's go for it. Hopefully, it clears off, turns into fog or something. We'll run out here, and get a fire going. Not not a free fire tonight, but it's a fire. I think we can quarter this guy up straight away. I don't think he has to be like 50% thawed or anything like that. Man, is he like, is he like really close to, yeah, he's really close to where the other one dropped. Cause there's my fire for the other one, isn't it? Oh, there's my arrow too. I'll take that by the way. Yeah, that's my fire for the other one. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, let's do it. Um, I need to get a torch going is what I need to do. 
Oh, come on. Wonder how many fires we're gonna have out here. Okay. Let's do some sticks first. See what happens. Hopefully this stuff goes away. Making me a little nervous. I feel like it wants the wind wants to kick up now. That did it. Maybe not. Oh no no no. No 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 no. Can't feel my hands. Let's add a coal. Okay, now our heat output is keeping us warm. Wait, why is it not? Well. Should be good. Yeah, there we go. 92% frozen. Ooh, it feels like I'm standing on the fire when I do that. That makes me nervous. Let's quarter this thing up. Two hours. I need more time on this. Not much, just a little. That's just what I need. Two hours, get it done. Gotta wait for it to drop to 75%. Did the sun just come out? Could I have gotten a free fire just now? Oh no, is it, it's nighttime now. Okay, doesn't count. I'm gonna grab some sticks or something while I'm out here. Oh, feathers, how about that? Come on. Speed up. Here's his little cave. That's, yeah, that's where he spawns in at. Oh. Well, at least we're healthy. All of our circles are happy. Rabbits seem happy. I'm gonna let them live. Any other feathers? I'll take feathers. I'll take some free feathers. Come on, there we go. 75, two hours, perfect. Come on, weather, just hold for two hours. The sun's setting. Wonderful. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. It should be more than two hours, actually, yeah, because I got that bonus thing going on. I'm gonna take one of these back. I'm not sure I can carry much more. I hear you, brother. Oops. I just wanted to check. I was wanting to run and check my stint at the same time, and it went into the steam overlay. Okay. Well, that was good. Probably do need to have my flare out just in case. Oh, son of a gun. He's coming after me. Oh, wow. He's angry. I mean, I'll drop this and shoot you if I have to, but... I wish I had archery up to, like, five or whatever it is where you can you can crouch and shoot. I'll crawl back in there. Leave the quarter right there. I know I was stinky and they were aggressive, but dang. Creepy. Being creepy. All creepy. Get away. Get away. Didn't you see what I did to the bear? Get away. You don't want none. These are not the bear quarters you're looking for. These are not the bear quarters I am looking for. Eh. The force is not strong with me. Alright, let's get inside. Let's get this uh, bear hide. Nice. Let's get this bear hide curing. So, that's good. We have two bear hides for repairs. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start trying to get some bear hides together for some... A coat, maybe. That's under this, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice. 
And then I think what I'll do here is I'll work on the quarters. The food. There we go. Harvest this up. I don't need to worry about size, so I'll just carve it up into whatever size it wants to carve it up into. Um, yeah, let's do it by hand. Save our tools. Yeah. Just start ripping that meat apart. <laughs> just take just take a ribeye steak and rip it in half. <laughs> or like, you know, a rump roast and rip it in half. All right. So there we go. Nice pieces of meat right there. Carcass harvesting. Master. I'm master now. What does that mean? Ooh. What does that mean for us, guys? 50% reduction in harvesting times. Nice. Can harvest 100% frozen carcasses by hand. Could have used that about two hours ago. 30% reduction in hide or gut harvesting times. Nice, nice, nice. Surrounded by snow. I like it. Nothing to drink. I like it. I hear you. I hear you. I got gotcha. you. Well, not a bad episode. Not a bad episode so far. So I'm going to drop these outside. Hopefully the wolf ain't still out here. Hunting rifle. Oh, yeah. I remember those. Those were cute back in the day when I had one. All right. I'm just going to put this up here, I guess. Some pieces of bear meat. Oh, yeah. I had a ruined bear meat on me, too. Um, that's probably why the wolf... Well, that and I was carrying a huge bloody bag of meat. Alright guys, well I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode we're going to work on moving the the um, the quarters the bags over here to the house get the uh, get all the guts in here get them all curing. We're going to have like 10 guts in here curing. We're going to have so many guts crafting isn't going to be a problem be able to make those deer pants be able to make some deer boots once we get enough of those and uh, yeah, go from there maybe make a lot of fishing lures, do a lot of fishing in the future. I'm looking looking forward to it so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all yeah, take care.